So you spend so much money to buy beautiful shoes, to buy high quality clothes. The most important step now is to keep them fresh and looking brand new for as long as possible. Here are my favorite tools to do just that. The first tool is for your shoes, and this is something that completely changed my life. I think we all know about shoe trees, but I personally never knew that there are different types of shoe trees. There are the plastic ones, then you have the shiny wood, and you also have the cedar wood, and that's the untreated wood. And the cedar wood shoe trees have three main benefits. So number one, when you put them in, after you walked around for the whole day, they start to absorb the moisture from your feet, because when you sweat while walking, your shoes actually absorb all of the moisture. And that in the end, over time, if you wouldn't put in a shoe tree, then you would start to get wrinkles, and also you would get a curve in front of the shoe. So the tip of the shoe would start to curve up a little bit. And that's not very pretty. And it's always easier to prevent something like this than treat it. So the cool thing is it keeps the shape of the shoes. It helps them to dry out a little bit. And the third part is because it's untreated cedar wood, it smells really, really nice. So basically your shoes start to smell fantastic. And you just have to make it a quick habit. Every time you come home, you put the shoe trees in, you leave them overnight. And the most important thing in this case, of course, is to have always at least two pair of shoes so you don't wear one shoe for longer than one day in a row. Because that really helps to prolong the life of the shoe, because then there's not that much moisture in the shoe, the shoe has all the time to dry out that it needs, and you really have your beautiful shoes for the longest time possible. The second tool or accessory that I really like is also related to shoes, and those are either leather, cork or cedar insoles. And again, these have multiple benefits because they, again, they absorb some of the sweat. They give a nice scent to your shoes as well. They also are very, very cozy when you're walking around. Many times they're made in a way that they cushion your feet quite a bit. And another benefit, which is the most important benefit for longevity of your inner soles, is that they protect your inner soles. Because now you have a protective layer between your feet and your inner soles of the shoes. You know over time, usually if you would wear your shoes just as they are, your inner sole would start to wear out over time. And that's quite difficult and expensive to replace. But the insoles that you can buy, they're very cheap. After a couple of months or a year or however long you need them, you can just buy new ones. It's much cheaper than replacing the entire sole of your shoes. Now the next tool is amazing. It's super cheap and it's a pilling machine. I use this one here from Philips. And basically when you have any type of really nice wool products, after a while they start to pill and it looks not that nice. For me, after high school, I went to Canada for a year and I was working at Banana Republic. And on Christmas time, we got a massive employee discount. And I bought a lot of pieces. And the only piece that I still have 10 years later now is this nice wool cardigan. It's perfect when I go on flights because you can easily remove it at security and it also keeps you really warm. The only problem is that it has a lot of pilling happening. And I never really knew what to do about it until I got this machine and you just go over it, you just let it do its magic, and after a while your sweater or cardigan starts to look like new. Because our first instinct when you see those pills, and I was guilty of this in the past as well, is that we want to rip it out or we want to cut it out or something like this. But that actually over time it damages the structure of the sweater. And in the case of my cardigan especially, there's so much pilling going on that if I would do it, I would completely break my sweater. So don't pull on it, just use one of those pilling machines. The next tool that I love is a hand steamer. And keep in mind that this only works on very low to medium wrinkles and also on materials like wool and maybe sometimes cotton. But it doesn't really work on linen that well. It doesn't work on really thick materials that have a lot of wrinkles. So keep that in mind. You can't really get your linen trousers or your linen shirts wrinkle-free with this one. You really have to use a normal iron in that case. But if you're traveling or you just want to quickly get some wrinkles out of your sports coat or out of your suit, this works really fine. And many times, even in the case of shirts, as long as they're not too wrinkly, it works really well as well. Super handy to have, quite cheap, and you can even take it with you when you go travel. The next accessory again is for shoes, and it's shoe bags. But make sure not to buy plastic shoe bags you have to buy the cotton shoe bags. Because plastic, it actually happened to me with a suit when the plastic, you're in a hot climate and over time it might even start to stick on the material, on the fabric. And then you get these ugly spots and the same can happen on shoes. And if you buy the cotton ones, it won't stick on the shoes, but it does protect the shoes when you go traveling. Very, very handy to have and you don't need to bring a shoe box or anything else. The next tool that I love are these pant hangers and they pretty much change the way I put away my trousers now because I always used to fold them but when you have wool trousers you actually want to hang them from the cuff because then because of gravity the whole weight of the pant is pulling them down and over time it actually starts to remove the wrinkles. So when you use these hangers and you put your pants in them hang it overnight. The next day you will see that around the knee area where there used to be some wrinkles the day before they're mostly gone so it's super convenient. 
I use them with all of my wool pants and I'm super happy about them. The last accessory is for your nice suits or for your sports jackets and that's a clothing brush. Because this removes lint, this removes dust, this removes all of the things that you don't want. So if you combine this brush with the steamer, you can extend the time to your next visit to the dry cleaners. Which again of course will increase the longevity of your clothes. I hope you enjoyed these tools. Please let me know if there's any other ones that you can recommend. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.